So you want to learn scripting, but you don't know what to do. Well, in this video, I'll be showing you the tips and secrets that other developers don't want you to know. When I started learning scripting, I thought I could just follow tutorials on YouTube and make the next adopt me. But I thought wrong. Instead, I was sent down a rabbit hole of Roblox development tutorials, hoping that some noob made a video about what I needed to code. Here's why that's bad. When you're watching a scripting tutorial you found for a specific part of your game, especially when you're just starting out, you watch the video just for the script and nothing else. You don't plan on understanding how it works, but you plan on just copying and pasting the code. The problem with copying and pasting the code without understanding how it works is that if it doesn't work like it's supposed to, you have no idea how to fix it. I noticed in my tutorials, a lot of you guys in the comments have issues with the script breaking, and every time it's because there was a spelling error. Scripting isn't like texting. The code has to be written without any mistakes for it to work properly. What you should be doing when you're starting out is going to YouTube and finding beginner scripting tutorials that teach you the fundamentals of Roblox scripting. Check out my video on that, linked in the description below. After you've covered the basics, you can start learning more complex concepts. At the same time, you can check out create.roblox.com docs and go under the engine API references to get more information on any Roblox concepts. On the documentation page, you have everything related to Roblox scripting. So you have all the different kind of data types, you have all the different classes that Roblox Studio has. Within each one of these topics, you have detailed explanations and code samples that you can follow and learn from. So anything you can think of, it's here. You want remote events, just find remote events and it'll take you to a page with detailed explanations and code samples. Once you've learned the basics, what you need to do now is strengthen your understanding of these concepts. A very useful strategy is to take on scripting projects that will test your ability to apply what you've learned to practical examples. Doing these coding projects will also help fill in the gaps in your knowledge. Whenever you get stuck and don't know what to do, you know what concepts you have to go back to revisit or learn. One way to do this is to take free models from the toolbox and open them up. You want to see and understand how they work. When you find something you don't understand, you can always look up that specific concept under Roblox's documentation page, which I just talked about. If you fully understand how it works, you can try modifying the model to make it work better. Though you should be aware that some free models have viruses, so be careful. You can also give yourself little scripting challenges. Every day for a month, come up with a quick concept to script and challenge yourself to code it within a certain amount of time. When you do this, you're strengthening your knowledge of scripting concepts. You will become more confident in your scripting abilities and then you can move on to doing even more advanced scripting challenges. But the ultimate way of improving your scripting abilities is to make a game. You want to make something simple like an obby instead of trying to make Adopt Me 2 right off the bat. The great part about making a game is that it tests every part of your developer abilities. It tests your knowledge in every field of development, building, GUIs, and scripting. It tests your motivation to finish a project that you've started. And lastly, it tests your problem-solving abilities. Oftentimes you'll run into problems, errors in your code, and things that you just aren't sure how to go about making. And it's important to learn how to solve these kinds of issues because scripting is pretty much just logic. Errors happen, and it's super important to know how to go about fixing them. Sometimes it's because something has been misspelt. And that's the thing about scripting in general. The computer isn't smart like a person. It can't guess what you want it to do. Which is why you have to be absolutely clear about what you're telling it to do. Misspelling something, missing a bracket, or even forgetting just one letter could break your game. Luckily, these kinds of errors can easily be found because spelling mistakes are usually underlined in red. For example, in this sprint script, I misspelled the variable user input service. I accidentally named it user input server. Now you'll see that these two lines over here, line 6 and 14, have a red underline underneath the word user input service. And this is because the script doesn't recognize what user input service is because we try to define it as user input server. So that's just one example of how misspelling a variable 
Something as little as misspelling a variable can break your entire script. Other kinds of errors are not so obvious. For example, here I'm trying to add the number one to the integer value of number. So when I run this code and I look at the output window, it gives me an error and it doesn't print what I want it to. Now in this case, it's because you try to add an instance and a number because the variable number represents this integer value over here. But the actual value we want to add is found under the property called value. So what we should have done is added number.value plus one. A really useful site to use when you're completely stuck is the dev forum. It's Roblox's developer forum where you can post about any scripting issues that you're having and it's a great place to look for existing solutions by searching previously posted topics. You can also learn about advanced topics that might not be found on YouTube or anywhere else because there are many tutorials that teach you how to script many things on that website. So these are the tips I wish I had when I first started learning scripting and I hope they'll help you on your Roblox scripting journey. Thank you guys so much for watching and we'll see you in the next one.